What's up guys, Zelda21 here, bringing you guys another COD video, and today guys, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 and the stuff that we've seen, as well as stuff I want to see in the upcoming future for this game. Now if you're excited for the little bit of this talk here, uh, hit the like button down below, and let's get right into this. Now the first thing I wanted to discuss was basically the snipers. As you know, I'm um, in COD 4 right now, I love sniping, it's one of my favorite things to do, and right now I'm really hoping that the sniping isn't bad in this game. Hopefully, uh, in this game, the sniping is somewhat similar to COD 4 and Call of Duty World at War because that's where sniping, I think, was the best. Because the snipers just sounded good with the bolt action, everything just felt good and clicked well, and it just made everything more enjoyable. So I would like to see that in the next Call of Duty. As well as I want to make sure that there is variety in this game. Now, as you know that there are divisions in this game, I would hoping that there's going to be variety. Because I don't want it to be that, you know, you have SMGs, assault rifles, and whatever, and then that's it. You know, I want there to be opportunity for them to bring weapons in, like, from way different things that we've never seen before from Call of Duty World at War, you know? So I hope they can find some of those weapons. But what I also, but going on the whole weapons thing, I really hope they don't put them in supply drops. Like, I don't want to have to try to get a PPSH from the Russian side in a supply drop just to use, you know? I really hope that all of this comes together in future DLCs. And they could do so much with the with these new game modes and everything else. For example, in the war game mode, you play off everything else. It would be amazing if they did a DLC on the Russian side of things, you know? Like, it was just Russian. And then you had to use new weapons, like the PPSH, the SVT-40, and all these other different weapons from World War II on a whole different war game mode on a whole different map. It would be a very cool what thing that they could do, and they could do with every single DLC. I mean, hell, they could even do the Japanese side in the Pacific Theater, where you could do a war with that. So basically, the sky is the limit with DLCs and things they can do, but they better do it right and not put any of these dumb things in supply drops. And even going with the DLC, I'm really hoping it's free. Now, I don't know if you've already known, but in Titanfall 2 and a couple other games, the DLC has been free, and that's what's really kept people together and kept the community like in Titanfall 2 together, because if once you start putting up paywalls, the player count goes down, 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 soon just the DLCs are gone, there's no players on them, and it's completely boring to play. So if they could just make the DLCs free and everything Everything else available to everybody I mean yes you know have you know small micro DLCs for skins if you want or if you're gonna do supply just make them like you know cases and shit like CSGO I don't really care if they did that because then I wouldn't have to really mind or do anything but if they could just keep it in a way of just taking DLC making it free not splitting up the player base making everyone happy they would see a really uprise and everything it'll be very very cool to see now, the next thing I really would want to see in this game as well as in future CODs is just good net code because in these last few COD games, the netcode has not been that good. One of the best examples so far was COD 4, and that is a remastered game. But I want to make sure they can do it in future CODs and keep it that good. Because with all the new connections, if the netcode is bad on launch, it just ruins the fun. A good example of this was in Battlefield 4. On day of launch, the netcode was so bad, it was just unplayable. And I don't want to see that with Call of Duty World War 2. We need a good launch on this game to kick off everything. If you want to go back to the roots of cod so if we are really gonna do that we need to make sure that the game is smooth no netcode problems not a lot of glitches you know what glitches glitches depend you know like if it's a glitch spot then that's one thing i'll get patched but hopefully there's nothing game breaking in it on day one that's what i'm hoping for because some of these last few cods I don't remember the last one that was, I can't put my name on it, but it had such a bad launch day, and there were so many glitch spots, it was kind of not fun, and everything else, but, so I hope they fix that as well. But the next thing I really want to see in this next COD is a good campaign. The trailer for the campaign looks very, very good, and very, very well done, but I need to make sure that it's not going to be bad. Like, I've been waiting for a COD campaign that actually meant something, we haven't had a good one since Black Ops 2, actually, I take that back, COD Ghost had a good campaign. The multiplayer wasn't that good, but the, the um, COD Ghost one was pretty good. But basically, I want to have a campaign that I care about, you know? Like, I haven't, we haven't had a historically accurate campaign and actually care about characters, in my opinion, since the Modern Warfare Remastered series. And, I mean, hell, even one of the best Call of Duty World War II campaigns was Call of Duty 3. If you guys ever played Call of Duty 3, you know that campaign was better than the multiplayer. That the campaign was amazing. It had probably one of the best campaigns, actually cared about the characters and what happened and everything else in any COD I've ever played. In fact, Call of Duty 3 is one of my favorite Call of Duties for the campaigns and everything else. And if they can bring a good campaign as well as a good multiplayer, that'll definitely keep 
you know the players are coming back and as well as make the game not just one-sided but going on other like things like campaign multiplayer the zombies better not be shit as you guys know exo zombies was oh my god it was a joke it no one played it really it was fun like there were some cool things like upgrading your weapons but it was so expensive and it was just so annoying you know i just upgraded this weapon just to do it 19 more times to get it to the max instead of black Co black ops 2 and trex game where it only took a 5,000 in one shot it's just there was a lot of things in cod exo zombies that was really bad and i really hope they just fix that and look at treyarch so we have zombies and i don't care if they put their own twist on it, that's the whole fun of it but hopefully it's not as like just trash as it was because in infinite warfare I'm, I'm gonna say infinite warfare zombies is actually not that bad the game is a lot of fun infinite warfare zombies is a lot of fun right now in my opinion because you know the easter eggs and the way you get different weapons and super weapons and wonder weapons and all these other things actually are fun to do and the gameplay is actually rewarding and doesn't feel so the same you know and that's what i liked about it so hopefully the you know zombies game mode isn't shit as well as makes everything interesting again and if we can have that it'll be very very good but um the next thing i finally want to talk about is gun balance as we can see in the alpha build or you know like the e3 build some of these guns are blindly overpowered a great example of this is the m1 the m1 i swear to god like i remember in call of duty world at war it wasn't that good and but it was still used quite a bit but what i don't want to happen is that okay it's boots on the ground let's go make the weapons do a shit ton of damage that's just not what i want i want weapons that are balanced like i don't want to have an assault rifle player beating me out with an smg from 100 meters away yes that's what it's supposed to do but that just sucks the fun out of it especially in game modes like war where you know you're gonna have to use every single thing to your advantage and if i'm getting outgunned by an m1 where i can't do anything on some of these maps and the guns are just broken it's just gonna suck the fun out of it so gun balancing is major and going on gun balance just you know keeping the guns in order and making sure that all the guns are free i've said that before but make them free i just don't want that and also don't make if you're if they do add new weapons don't make them overpowered and supply drops great example of this is the ak 74 u and the galil from black ops 3 those guns are overpowered but they're only in supply drops anything with the ppsh just making everybody like what the hell there's no point anymore and that's what's really killing me that's why i don't play that game much well i played it before but i don't really play it again and that's what's really bothering me now i think that's gonna wrap it up for what i have to say today if you did agree with some of the things tell me the comments below and what are your thoughts on the new call of duty this year as well as hit the like button and subscribe for more cod content like this that's always thankful for me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video